So what I'm really interested in is if isolating all the weight onto a smaller surface area for a sled actually does work. Mm. I don't know. You'll, you'll find out. It may not be perfect, but it's pretty good. Try something. Whoa! <laughs> I might be able to move it then. That's not too bad. And that's about 150 ish. Yeah, that was, and, and those blocks are like 120, so that'd be just like moving. I could move that by hand. Oh, this is shit. I don't steer for shit. much friction in this stupid ass thing. I don't know if I can really do much.
spot. That block and tackle is garbage. Because I can do it by hand. Why don't I just do that then? But either way, it's cool. So it's been a few more weeks. And the weather's already turned very warm. I'm thinking this might not, might not be a good solution. But just 50 forms down that direction might be the solution. I think it would be a good idea for us to merge the Barrel Boats video series into this series because it seems like moving them via canal and barge might be the best solution because they are quite heavy and to be honest I could probably just push them by hand down the hill and onto a small boat a very shallow boat but this water is almost too shallow so what if I made an amphibious vehicle that would float in the deeper parts holding cargo and then drive over any, any of the th shallower parts. That's an idea. So I looked at the area down, down the line. It would be about, well, a heck of a long distance. A very steep hill because I believe like the coal mine and everything, they just used anything they could to take these hills and just extend them out to where it's just like the steepest hills you can make before they collapse and they always collapse a little bit at a time. So trying to make a, a sled go sideways on that, it's just not going to work. Now this was flat. I could do a lot with, with it being flat, but oh well. Water's up a little bit today. I could access quite a bit of land with a barrel boat, a barrel barge perhaps. All a question of how to build it. I have one of those heat oil tanks in my basement, which I could cut it long ways or short ways. I may have to cut it short ways because I, I just remembered it can't really fit through the stairways because it's not tall enough. So yeah, I'll have to do it. It's where it'll be a narrow boat. But I could probably, I could build two with one hat with each half. And one could be a trailer and one could be the tower. That would work. Oh. And I could use bicycle wheels to power them. That'd be good. And if I did that, I would open up a lot of territory with anything touching the water. Now, the one downside is that down there is a weir. So, I have to figure out a way to make it go over the weir. It's only made out of stone though, so it's only loosely packed. I could possibly just drive it over it. That is an idea, if it is an amphibious vehicle. But, the other question is, what's up there? Because if we go around that way, I could go up and then go into an offshoot section. And then I would have a, a place I could drive it out of. So that's also another option. Well, the real stopper to this is just that it's getting warmer and less fun when it's warm because no one's paying me to do this <laughs> oh well i hope you guys enjoyed this this video and thank you very much for watching see ya now that being said i'm not gonna let this perfectly good sledge sled stone boat whatever you call it go to waste and i don't feel like littering the forest even more So I'm taking that home. I bet I could hook up my lawnmower to it. Oh wow, it's actually bowed it quite a bit. It was out here for like a month.